Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this poncho. This poncho is made of two panels of rectangular shape with a dimension of 27 by 15 inches and sewn together which I will show in this video. The collar measures about 24 inches in circumference and in the shoulder area from neck down to the arm measures about 15 inches. And here at the center, from the neck down to the bottom, it measures about 21 inches. And the pattern is simple and easy to follow, yet creates this distinctive design. So let's get started! For the materials, I use two skeins of Caron Big Cakes yarn in honey glazed color. I also use size K 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, a blunt needle, a pair of scissors, markers, and tape measure. So let's start with a knot and chain 98. So this is now 98 chains. Next is foundation row. Single crochet in second chain from hook. So here, single crochet here on the bump. This is the second chain from hook. And then in each chain across on the bump right here. And then on the next chain right here. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with a pattern of single crochet on the bump in each chain across. And the last stitch here just single crochet on the bump and this is how we end foundation row and this is what foundation row looks like row one chain five turn double crochet in the first stitch right here skip three stitches one two three and single crochet in the next five stitches. So starting here, one, two, three, four, and five. Then skip three stitches, two, three, and on the next stitch, shell. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain two again and double crochet in the same stitch that's the shell this is what it looks like then repeat the pattern skip three stitches and single crochet in the next five stitches starting here two three four five then skip three stitches again and shell in the next. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch to shell. This is what it looks like. Then skip three stitches again and single crochet in the next five stitches. Then skip three stitches and shell in the next. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. 
So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So at this point, I'm going to skip three stitches and single crochet in the next five stitches. So this is two, three, four, and five. And then at this point, there are four stitches left. So to end this row, skip three stitches. And on the last stitch here, just do a double crochet. Chain two and double crochet in the same stitch to end row one. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two, chain three, one, two, three, turn. And on the chain two space here, four double crochets. So one, two, three, four double crochets in the same chain space. Then this is the five single crochets of the prior row here. So skip the first single crochet and go to the next and single crochet in the next three stitches. And three. Then on the next chain two space right here, four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Then on top of the du double crochet here, double crochet on that stitch right here. Then on the next chain two space here, four another four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. This is what it looks like. Now repeat the pattern. So this is the five single crochets again of the prior row. Skip the first single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch, in the next three stitches. So this is one, two, three. And then four double crochets again on the chain two space here. So one, two, three, and four. Then double crochet on top of the double crochet stitch right here. And then another four double crochets in the next chain two space. So this is two, three, and four. And next would be the uh, single, the five single crochets here, skip and then single crochet in the next three stitches. So continue this pattern across, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row, I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So four double crochets in the chain two space here. Then double crochet on top of the double crochet here. Then four double crochets again in the next chain two space. Three, four. Then this is the five single crochets. So skip the first one and single crochet in the next three stitches. Two and three. Now to end this row, this space here, four double crochets on this space. One, two, three, and four. And then on the third chain of the turning chain here, one, two, three, another double crochet, the last double crochet to end row two. So this is how to end row two, and this is what row two looks like. Row three, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first three stitches. So starting here, single crochet one, two, and three. Then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and on this stitch here, shell. So double crochet, 
chain 2, double crochet in the same stitch, chain 2, and double crochet in the same stitch to shell. Then skip 3 stitches again and single crochet in the next 5 stitches. So this is 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then repeat the pattern, skip 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3, and shell in the next. So double crochet, chain 2, double crochet, chain 2, and double crochet in the same stitch. Then skip 3 stitches again, 1, 2, 3, and single crochet in the next 5 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is what it looks like. Then continue, skip 3 stitches again, and shell in the next. So double crochet. Chain 2, double crochet in the same stitch, chain 2, and double crochet in the same stitch. So continue and then skip 3 stitches and single crochet in the next 5 stitches. So continue this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So skip 3 stitches and single crochet in the next 5 at this point, 4 and 5. And then skip 3 stitches again and shell in the next. So on this stitch, double crochet, chain 2, double crochet in the same stitch chain 2, and double crochet in the same stitch. Then skip 3 stitches again, and then single crochet in the last 3 stitches. And then on top of the turning chain 3 here, this will be the last stitch. So this is how we end row 3, and this is what row 3 looks like. Row 4, chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first 2 stitches, so 1st, 2nd, and then 4 double crochets in the chain 2 space right here, 4 double crochets, 2, 3, and 4. Then double crochet on, on the next double crochet here on top of the double crochet, then 4 double crochets in the chain 2 space. 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is what it looks like. Then this is the 5 double single crochets of the prior row here. Skip the first single crochet here and single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. Then four double crochets again in the next chain two space. One, two, three, and four. Then double crochet in the double crochet here. Then 4 double crochets in the next chain 2 space. So this is 3 and 4. Then this is the 5 single crochets again of the prior row. F skip the first single crochet and single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Like this. So continue this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So at this point, I'm going to, um, on the chain 2 space, 4 double crochets. So this is 1, 2, 
three, and four. Then double crochet on top of the double crochet here. And then four double crochets again in the next chain two space. So this is two, three, and four. Then to end this row, skip two stitches, one, two, and uh, single crochet in the last two stitches here. So this is one and single crochet in the last stitch here. So this is how we end row four, and this is what row four looks like. Row five, chain five, two, three, four, five, turn, and then double crochet in the first stitch, right here, double crochet, then skip next three stitches one two three and single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five then skip next three stitches and on the next stitch here shell so to shell double crochet chain two double crochet in the same stitch chain two and double crochet in the same stitch. Then repeat the pattern, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next five stitches. So this is two, three, four, and five. Then skip three stitches and shell in the next. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Then repeat, skip three stitches and single crochet in the next five stitches. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So at this point, I'm going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and shell in the next. Chain two, double crochet in the same stitch. Chain two, and double crochet in the same stitch. Then skip three stitches. One, two, three, and single crochet in the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Now to end this row, there are four stitches left. So to end this row, just do a double crochet on the last stitch, chain two, and another double crochet in the last stitch. So this is how to end row five, and this is what row five looks like. So from here, repeat rows two to five until P is measures about 15 inches or your desired measurement. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back when I have 15 inches of my piece. So I'm done with the 15 inches of my piece and right now I'm steaming it because it's kind of curly and I want to lay it flat. So this is one technique that I'm using. And this is now what my piece looks like after 15 inches of rows and this is the close up of the design. So from side to side, the measurement is about 27 inches, 27 and a half inches. And from top to bottom, it's about 15 inches. So after 15 inches of my piece, this is the tail or the last stitch here. So I'm going to continue with a row of border on this side here. So this is now the top left corner where I'm going to continue with a border 
on this side here on the left side so from here I'm gonna turn this piece this way and then I'm gonna uh, start with my border so from here so this border from here all the way down to the bottom so from here I'm gonna chain one and then single crochet in the next stitch here another single crochet somewhere in the next stitch here and then another single crochet in this stitch here so basically three single crochets and then on this chain space here I'm gonna do five double crochets so one two three four and five then I'm gonna single crochet somewhere in the middle here so so find the middle stitch right here and single crochet and then on the chain on the space here another five double crochets again so one two three four and five so just repeat this pattern so somewhere in the middle here again single crochet just eyeball it so on this stitch single crochet so this is what it looks like so repeat this pattern all the way down the row so I'm here now all the way down the row and then to end this row just single crochet on the last stitch here and we are done with our side border and then just fasten off so this is now what my piece looks like after crocheting the side border right here so please note we're only doing this side we are leaving the other side as is so make two panels of the exactly the same pattern so these are now the two panels for my poncho they are exactly the same pattern so with the right side facing up lay the two panels like an L shape so for the panel that is laid horizontally the side border goes on the right side right here and for the panel that is laid vertically, the border goes in the bottom, right here. And I left a long tail, and so with the other panel. So these two edges here, I'm going to sew them together. Then I'm going to fold this panel here towards this way up to the edge here the two edges align together then I'm going to fold the from the top vertical panel this way and then these two edges will be attached together too so these will be sewn together also these two edges here and now the poncho is formed so I'm just going to put a marker here so that I know where to stop when I attach them together. At least a marker on one panel. And also on the other side. So using the long tail that I left here, I'm going to attach these two edges together right here up to the marker using single crochet. And do the same step on the other side. So this is now what my piece looks like after attaching the two edges together with a single crochet. So I'm going to show the close up right here. So this is single crochet up to the marker here. And this side is wrong side of the piece. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it right side out. This is now what the piece looks like with right side facing out. 
and this is this the part where I attach them together right here so the bottom side of the poncho looks exactly the same and I left a long tail here for the collar I use this to attach the collar so the next step is to do our collar so with a fresh yarn let's start with a knot and chain 20 And this is now 20 chains. Next is row one, single crochet in second chain from hook. So single crochet, second chain, and in each chain across. So single crochet in next chain. So just single crochet in each chain across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So this is what row one looks like now. Row two, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch, back loop only. Then single crochet in the next stitch, back loop only. And just repeat the pattern across, single crochet in each stitch across, back loop only. So continue this pattern. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row, just continue with the pattern of single crochet in each stitch, back loop only. And I am now here at the last stitch. So this is what row two looks like. So repeat row two until piece measures about 24 inches. So I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back when I have my 24 inches of my piece. So this is now what my collar looks like so far. This is about 24 inches right here. And when I fold this, this is about 12 inches. And from top to bottom, this is about 5 inches. So these two edges here, I'm going to attach these together with a whip stitch to form a ring. So this is now what my collar looks like with the two edges attached together. So I put the two edges here at the back right here. These are the two edges that I attach with a whip stitch. It's in the back and then I put a marker. And then right to the front here in the center, I put a marker also. And then on the side, one marker and on the other left, this left side, one marker too. So my collar would be attached on the poncho like this. So I'm now ready to attach the collar onto the neck of the poncho. So with the wrong side facing out like this here. So using the long tail and with our collar, so this is the long tail that I'm going to use. And then here is our collar with the markers on right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it inside the poncho like this. Right here, like this. So the center right here, I'm going to this is where I, I'll start attaching them together and I'm going up this way and then with a marker right here this will go on the folded side together right here and then going down to the back right here this way and then with a marker also this way this one would go to the center here and then go back up again to the other side here. I would attach this together. And then with a marker on the collar, it will go on the folded side of the poncho right here. And then go down to the beginning, to where we start right here. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Actually, I'm just going to put the marker on the collar and the neckline of the poncho on both of these pieces so that uh, even it, if it moves as I sew along, then I still know where these uh, marker points are going to be on both edges. So that's what I'm going to do. Put the marker on both right here and then on the other side. Right here. So the marker goes on the collar and on the neckline. So this would be much easier when I sew along because sewing this collar along the neckline could be a bit of a challenge. So this is one technique that would really help me and hopefully you as well. So this is Okay. And now I can start sewing, starting here, using the long tail right here. So thread the long tail onto the blunt needle and then just start sewing like this. I'm using whip stitch to sew these two edges together. So align them and then just as you go along, try to adjust both edges. So just like this, simple whip stitch. So continue this stitch around. I'm going to cut off the video and then I'll be back when I'm done sewing these two pieces together. So this is now what my piece looks like. The collar is sewn onto the neckline using whip stitch right here. So all around here and then right here. So at this point, I'm done. I'm just going to weave the ends, clean up the tails, and I'm going to flip it right side out and try it on. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.